and welcome to the geeks what time is it game time game time <laughs> this is a little then do you keep in the green <laughs> and this is sean <laughs> what's going on guys what's going on nothing <laughs> back to the theater today Oof. we did we did we'll have a special episode of our ghostbusters review it'll be out later <clears> this <throat> week uh, but i will complain about the theaters we so can well, okay so my theater experience i just gotta say <laughs> it was a uh, it's pleasant <laughs> Had no problems at all. No problems at all. There was one guy who was a little talky. He was sitting a couple rows up, and like at one point, I heard him like it was a really quiet part in the movie, and he's like, "Uh oh," and I'm like, ah, "Like who's that for? Come on!" But that was like the one thing that I heard. But really, if, considering how it has been in the past, very nice. I was I, sur- I was surrounded by assholes. <laughs> so, wow. It's a terrible, terrible experience. One person was talking over here. A person had his phone on. There was people in front of me that were fucking just moving all around and talking. I'm like, this has got to be the worst experience ever. I don't like. I don't. I don't like going to the movies. I kind of. I feel like at this point, I just want to fucking flex myself and be like, you know, I'm just gonna round the whole movie theater by myself and just watch. <laughs> <laughs> That's where I'm at at this point. I'm like, I just want to flex. I'm gonna, I'm gonna nah, you got you gotta, myself. You, at that point, just contact the studio and be like, come on, bro. Like, what do I gotta pay you just to send me screeners? Like, oh, For real. Oh, come on, man. Can can I join the guild? Yeah. I'm talking, I'm talking real. Yeah. I'm trying to flex, like yo. Let me just yell. Let me just pay for this theater, man. I just do this and call it a day. Annoying. What's up, James? James? Hello, James. Uh, I I had an interesting experience because I, I screwed up. So like my in laws are in town, and uh, so I bought tickets to the the Sinopolis. Um, you know, it's the the dine in theater. It's a nice fancy theater. Um, <clears throat> stupidly, I bought tickets for Saturday. But we all got ready and went Friday. So we yeah. get there. They, they let us in. You know, they just look at your thing. They don't even scan your barcode. They just let you in. So we're sitting in our seats. We order our food, everything. I run out to my car uh, because my work phone died. So I'm trying to charge my car, my phone. And then Jenny gets a text. She's like, people are here trying to sit in our seats. What the hell's going on? Where are you? Because ha- I'm the only one with the tickets <laughs> on my phone. Oh, so like, oh shit. So I run in. I pull up the thing and I'm like, oh, it says it says Saturday. <laughs> so, so uh, yeah, the guy the guy was nice. He 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 got us all he got us new seats, but we were all separate. So I sat by myself, which wasn't bad. Oh, um, that was a good. That was the best part. <laughs> You're like, you know what? I was I was having. A really I'll take stressful, one for the team. I was having a real stressful day. I sat I sat back. I had a, a burger, no bun, and a glass of wine. I was like chilling back there <laughs> everybody else was with the grandparents and then jenny and i'm like all right cool um but it was weird there's no young i mean my kids were probably the youngest in the theater like you know usually when i'm thinking of these movies i'm thinking like a younger audience it was all it felt like all people our age or older who grew up on ghostbusters all in ghostbuster shirts like i have never seen so, so many people in ghostbuster t-shirts in my life and I was just like, that's crazy. I have a question about the, your theater. So you like tables, you sit down, you order food. Yeah, they, food. it's got like a, it's got, like, you know, the, the, the old school table, like has like the little fo- fold table. And so it's not like a, a booth. No, no, it's, it's a reclining couch, but it's got this big kind of uh, like. Are the uh, lights like brighter in there? Because I mean, I would imagine like if you have no. like, like popcorn candy fine but a burger like i kind of you kind of like need to see what you're eating though no? no, okay so not, i gotta I have, I have i've never been to one of these fancy food I, I, I have i have so i'm i'm gonna i'm gonna say something because honestly the recliner seats shit don't like them at all not a fan i don't, of I don't recline i just like sitting in the I i'm like not a fan of the seats. i'm not Love a fan them. of any Love of that them. shit and you I don't want to know why? Like, because you haven't been to one of those old shitty theaters in a long time with those shitty seats. Because my theater had those shitty seats, and let me tell you something: I like the fucking recliners. I don't. You just I you haven't it. sat in those city seats for too long. That's all. That's what I don't. I don't. I don't, I, don't no, I don't use the recliner. Nothing. Like I hate it. I I have always hated it. I I don't understand it. I don't. Yeah, understand but you like it. sitting in the bigger seat, though, right? Like you don't want to sit in that little hard ass fold down chair. 
I miss those. I miss those gyms. <laughs> I kind of miss those, to be honest. No. <laughs> that was a nostalgia. That, that never bothered me. I don't like the rec- I can't eat in the reclining seat. I can't like, oh, I'm gonna eat this food, but I'm gonna have my but feet it, all it, up. You sit up. I sit so up. I sit up. I, I sit over sit. the thing. I can cut my. I don't. I don't. But I don't, I don't like. Do it. you I like go it. once you get into position? Like you're just stuck there till the movie's over. You're like, oh, oh yeah, dude. Yeah. I'm like this. I can't I'm move. Like, yo, my legs is <laughs> my legs are down on the floor. I'm just like this. Like I'm. You, I don't know. I, I'm you not can eat like that. You can eat sitting sitting up like that with your feet on the floor. I That's how I eat. I don't eat like with a recline. Or but you don't even recline the seats. But you don't. Cares? You don't recline. I don't recline the seats when I'm eating either. Some people do. You know? Well, yeah, some people do. I mean, then those they use people, like those yeah, people they, use their those people get as tables shit everywhere. Shit. Yeah, they use their t- <laughs> yeah exactly. You know that sort of South Park where you use your belly as your table. I don't know. I don't like. I don't like the reclining. I don't like watching a movie from a reclining. At home, it's fine, but in, in public, I'm like. Man, listen, something go down. I gotta get the fuck up out of my seat. Uh-huh. <laughs> like, there was two times. There was two times in Ghostbusters Day though in reclining seats where I was like, <laughs> <laughs> "That's also another problem." Too. I, might fall asleep, I get too. cozy, and, you know, I'm like, "Ooh, man, it's dark. It's like a perfect temperature." Yeah. It folds and, a little and, bit. And, and the crazy part is, it's probably a good sleep. Oh, <laughs> dude, not it's, really it's good not sleep. That. <laughs> I fell asleep during so many movies that we've watched where I went to the theater. Uh so good. Kids, you know what? Now, kids' movies, I'll probably fall asleep. Like, I don't even want to watch any kids' movies anymore because I'll probably fall asleep. I guarantee you, I fall asleep when Dune Two. Guaranteed. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting for the. I'm waiting for the. Dune Two. You know what? I don't I, know. I, if I, I need to break that shit up. I can't. I can't. <laughs> because, because it, it, there, there are some moments where you just like, ooh. <laughs> but but you kind of just kind of move with it, man. It is what it is. Just don't eat a whole buffet like the people that Taylor dealt with the other night. Well, I mean, I guess it depends on what sometimes movie you're you watching. watch a buffet. But I mean, yeah. it depends on what movie you're watching, right? Like yeah. if if it's a loud kind of cool actiony movie, then the buffet might not be. T- if it's a quiet place, yeah, you yeah. know, leave the crinkled <laughs> fucking wrappers, <you> know, <laughs> the <laughs> crunchy tacos and the nachos and all that shit, like. God damn, we're all gonna get eaten by these monsters. You keep yeah, let me ask you a question. Let me ask when you when you when you're about it's it's upsetting because you got all your food and mm-hmm. you're getting like 20 minutes of trailers. By the time the trails are going, you ate up all your fucking food. <laughs> so Dude, that's the worst I, part about it. I fucking plow through so much popcorn before the movie even fucking starts dude it's every see, time so so this theater does bottomless popcorn that they serve to you so you just hit the little button on the side and they'll come out and oh. you get like a popcorn no, you get usually it's, about, it's ten dollars unlimited usually about 10 minutes in the movie i feel like i'm like i'm good i don't want popcorn. any more popcorn but i mean yeah. I, you can only I, have so much well, when i have five with me or like this time we had seven like one bottomless popcorn took but, care of a lot you know but there is nothing like sitting down in that first buttery salty popcorn bite that you take it's all hot right off the top of the bag so you ever see let me ask, let you me ever ask see a video of that one dude that the uh, spit in the popcorn bucket and fucking buttering the shit up and that guy rocks like, that's I was hey, like, look, have fun I was with like, your job man like, so he, like, he got on TV for that. You you know you're getting the best fucking theater popcorn oh, with everything. Every piece Hands is down. buttered because you know yeah, what so, I hate. I hate getting to the middle and there's no butter. Okay, so so this is just how you do that. You tell them, I know half. half. I know. I, put the yeah. butter on, then put the half on the other butter, and then you you, you can do all the spin around all you want. It don't matter. That butter's still gonna be on both you areas. Can. So I just, you can you can barely oh. carry it without popcorn going everywhere. How are you gonna spin it yourself? No, no, I'm just saying. I'm just saying. Like you can kind of shake it up. I get what I get. What you're saying, Charlie. You could always do that, but a lot of theaters nowadays too. Like if you go to the AMC's here, they don't even butter it. There's the butter pump stand there, and it sucks because it's like they give you the full thing, and I'm like, how the hell am I going to get this on the bottom? Dude, the worst. Part I just is... sit there and just keep pumping it until like I can feel the grease pile up on the bottom, <laughs> of it. and then I get some extra napkins. And then Ew, the God. worst. The worst. The worst part yeah. is. It's like green popcorn. Social it, social media has fucked me up with pop with butter popcorn. Is like yo, it watching it like I think an Instagram was like, what is this popcorn made of? What is this butter made of? And you start to look at you like, oh, oh, it's not made of, it's not butter. <laughs> it's not oh. butter. It's, it's, it's a whole like, bunch of different chemicals that like, like with like, butter flavoring. It's, yeah. it's like flavor plus, you know. It's like it's so bad. yellow it's... five and some concentrate of some fucking it, thing. It's you, so you, know, you know what it is though, Sean. What it is is delicious and unbeatable because the popcorn, even the movie butter popcorn, you get all that 
movie style, get the little liquid at the store, get all the shit you want, get all that shit. And you know what? None of it is even close. It's not true. It's true. It's not even close. Ed, who's that? Ed? Ed, Ed, was supposed to, Ed was supposed to call me today, talking about he wanted to go to the movies, and he didn't even hit me up or nothing. So I went dozing. Well, he has a green face. He might have been sick. So, Or maybe he was talking about he doesn't like movie popcorn. Or I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah, so, yeah. so, so, yeah. Uh, we, we got a call. <laughs> also, also, last night we played a new game. We did. We played it. Uh, what was it called? A uh, wreck it, uh, wreck fest, and wreck had fest. a fun time with that game. <laughs> it's, uh, it's it's a multiplayer online on the Xbox. It's on Game Pass. Wreck fest. A little enjoys it. playing as a school bus. I'm a school bus <laughs> ramming into everybody. It was hilarious. <laughs> yeah. I didn't care if I won or lost as long as I was just ramming things around because I could not control that school bus in those little pits. It was, but whatever. <laughs> just was... hit somebody and then respawn. Hit somebody and respawn. Hit somebody. Exactly. He, he just That's... like flew. He didn't even turn. He just flew the bus through like a missile and then respawn every time. Because <laughs> that's all I can I do. Believe, you can't turn. <laughs> I believe I had the win of the evening though with the pushing of Dave off the edge of the fucking <laughs> of the ring at the last minute. You but both no. fall, but you won. Your your death oh, was clutch. the win. Oh, no, it's a, it's a fun yeah. game. So definitely definitely check out Wreck Fest. Wreckfest. It's on Wreck Game Pass if you have Game Pass. If we can get if we can get more people on there, boy, that'd be a hell of a fu- hell of a game. So yeah. all right, I don't know if I know Sean. I, don't, I knew you watched it a little. I don't know if you watched it, but. Roadhouse came out on Amazon Prime with Jake Gyllenhaal and Conor McGregor, and I don't really, Sean. I don't really know. If we should. We need to give it a whole like separate review. It's 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 Roadhouse, it's but separate, separate I personally give it a hero. I loved it. It's silly. It's a little over the top. I think Conor McGregor is like he's like a cartoon character in real life, and I just I wasn't sure if I was gonna like it at first, but I ended up really really loving it. Jake Gyllenhaal's character is like I liked kind of his backstory and stuff. I thought some of the action was really good. There's one scene where there's like an explosion, and like the aftermath of it was like to me seemed very realistic. Like like oh god, it did. It Everybody did. is very hurt by that. <laughs> like, like just the sound was enough. People were like oh my god, they couldn't even move. It was very very good. I'm gonna um, give it a high sidekick. I liked it for it for Roadhouse. Yeah. It wasn't. It wasn't. It wasn't great. That was just. I Conor was McGregor's of, introduction is. Uh, oh yeah, his introduction and his outro was fucking amazing. <laughs> did you see? Did you see the credit scene? Did you see yeah. the credit scene? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I did. Yeah, I did. he had the same strut. Oh, yeah. So good. Yeah. Conor McGregor wasn't bad. I actually, I actually liked this. And character. that was a, that was a clutch. You know, like the finish, the end fight was. F- like the end, the finale was like thirty minutes long, almost. Like it just I, you know, going, I, I, going, I wanted going. you know his character. I wanted to come back. I thought, um, uh, uh what's what's the uh, singer's name? Oh man, he had the tattoos on in the beginning. Oh, Post Malone. Post Malone. I wanted him to come back. I it was, was like the oh, cameo. It was a cameo. I liked yeah, it. Though. It was. He's like, was, he's like, I like, this, like this it underground knuckle fighter. Yeah, I like yeah. That it was, I, was, I, know. I was like, oh man, maybe he'll come back. But no. Uh, Michelle it? Williams did an okay job. Like again, it was okay, but it just wasn't. Something was missing. I don't know what it was. It seemed like they were trying to do too much. I, uh, I don't know, man. <laughs> well, I loved it. I thought it was great. Um, yeah, I plan was... on rewatching many times. No, no, very great. Not, not rewatch that. That's that's not rewatchable. Let's put it this way: I, I, didn't, I never cared for the original, so when I heard about this one, I was like, man, all right. Well, whatever. It's a good action. I, was, I wasn't a big Swayze fan back in the day, so yeah, whatever. Um, James, we will be giving our ratings for Ghostbusters. We're, we're going to have a separate review for Ghostbusters that's going to be out sometime this week. And I want to give it away, but no, I'm sure we're going to have some. It'll be out I'm, tonight. It'll be out tonight. It's not going to be out. It'll be out tonight. We're not doing it live. Yeah, but the recording can go right on right quick. I don't think. There's not editing in that. Well, right. for the East Coast, it's already going to be fucking Sunday. I was going to say. <laughs> It'll, be, out It'll tomorrow. be there when they wake up on Sunday. Yeah. It'll be up. You'll, you'll It'll get be it out real quick. Real quick. And there will be some differing opinions. I have a, a feeling. I agree. I agree. Maybe. Maybe we might agree all the way. <laughs> what we can agree on is the trailers lie because there's shit in the trailers that's not in the movie. So. 
I don't remember, remember that. Yeah, I don't remember that either. But at no point were all of them on top of a building in red coats. So that oh, is true. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> that's <laughs> true. The fuck was that all about? Yeah, that is true. You're right. I didn't see <laughs> that at all. I mean, they do edit movies, so but yeah, <laughs> yeah but yeah, but a whole scene. <laughs> what was he? What was he? Ho ho in it? I want to know what that was all about. Yeah. James is going to see it after the show tonight. All right. Damn, Dave. <laughs> what movie Damn, is he going to? <laughs> he's going to after the show. After this show? Yeah. Oh, I got to catch the geeks first. <laughs> Damn, James, I appreciate it. But yeah, I, I appreciate you. Go to the movies, bro. brother. <laughs> <laughs> I think he's working, right? So he's probably probably going after work. Um, <clears throat> East Coast or West Coast? <laughs> he's on your coast, man. He's- yeah, he's oh, he's like, watching by the uh, I was getting ready to say, I was like, wait, what movie is open at this time? Uh, like, like that. <laughs> like the drive in. He's watching by the means. Other means. Um, it's the dollar theater in that weird alleyway. <laughs> so so I, I watched a, a very disturbing documentary series. I know, Sean, you watched it as well, yeah, called so uh, uh, Quiet on Set. It's a documentary series about the, the Nickelodeon scandals. Man. Um, a lot of crazy shit was going on at Nickelodeon. Um, was it nineties, two thousands? Yeah, like late nineties, right? Because like the early nineties was like you can't do that on television, all that stuff. That's the it stuff was, I watched. It was it started you know? in the all that era and kind of ended in the Vic Sam cool. and Cat era. I guess. No, well, yeah. he made the he made the. Th- not the Thundermans. What was that other? Uh, that because my kids like that show, the Captain Man, the fucking uh, the superhero one. Because Dan Schneider made that one, but he didn't. He, he got didn't fired it. right at. He got fired after yeah. he created that show. Yeah, but that I know was he was. Like, a, he had a big hand in all that and the Amanda show. I mean, he had a man. He had a hand in everything on Nickelodeon, bro. Like he ran the globe. Even the logo. <laughs> Did Gross. he? Yeah. He had a foot fetish, and that's why they turned them into a foot. Oh shit! I didn't they showed that whole scene with, with touching feet and uh, Ariana Grande putting her foot in her mouth. I'm like, what is happening? Like, you watch these clips now, is bad. and I'm like, what is happening? But I mean, yeah. it's weird because like, I you're you're it's true for that, right? But it's. I guess in context, you were we were talking a little bit about about this off the air, but like I mean, you see that live, right, in person when you first watch it on TV with no context, and it's it's weird. But then you think like, well, it's a kids show, so but then you watch it again with the right context. It just it just like what else out there are we watching out of the correct context? You know what I mean? Like, I, I, what I perception is like can can be flipped so easily? Like, oh no, actually. This is different behind the scenes. Now what you're watching is a completely different thing. You know, it's just a, it's not a even weird... some of the it's not even some of the behind the scenes stuff. It's just like I I didn't because I didn't watch this era of Nickelodeon much. I know like my 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 girls watched Victorious. I never watched all that. They never watched the Amanda show. I mean, I knew Amanda Bynes because she was in a couple movies. You know, like that's all I knew her from. I didn't know from. Her show, Nickelodeon times, yeah. Um, I did. I think Elijah used to watch a lot of Nickelodeon. I don't know if he watched a Band of Binds or nothing like that. I think but, he was like more probably Disney stuff. Maybe seen some of the weird scenes that like you could find them on Twitter right now. Just you see, and like the one, like there's one with Ariana Grande where she's trying to squeeze the juice out of a potato, and the potato is literally like a giant dick. And she's sitting there holding it like this, and she's like, "Give me the juice, give me the juice." Like, so it was it was weird yo. because because her character because her character was like a fucking airhead in yeah. the show. So it was like it was like the shit that What's she up, did. Mike? What's up, Mike? It, it was fitting for her character because the shit she just did was just weird nasty. and yeah, I get yeah, it. Yeah, but it still, weird. like, but not every you're... but you can't look at every single thing on there and be like, "Well, that's also like this crazy." Like some of it, so, some of it's bad. Some of it, a lot of it's very, very, very bad. But I think that, like, no, I don't think all of it is. No, I don't think all of this was... umbrella of, of, of yuck. Well, but, I mean, but but what happened to Drake Bell is. But it did a lot of da- well, oh, and that's yeah. the other thing too. Like all these it's tragic shit. These definitely. Nickelodeon stars that have had these downfalls, right? I mean, you have like the success stories, like Josh Peck ish kind of. 
uh, no, shit, he was in Oppenheimer, you know? So right, guy's yeah, but, but everything I'm hearing about him as well. I mean, and I don't, you know, I'm, this is all Twitter wars and all this shit, but he's kind of an ass. So we'll we'll see. But I guess maybe that's Who why. Who knows, like that, successful. maybe he... <laughs> Maybe that's how he's dealing with what he went yeah. through, you know? The, the, the thing, like, I mean, for you guys, like, for, for me, it was like seeing the token black kids on these shows was always a heartbreaking, thing. man. Like, what they were it talking was always about. A thing. It was like, yo, that's it's and, and and that goes all the way up the ladder. It's just oh, there's always a token black dude, always, no matter what it is. <laughs> it doesn't make any sense. Like, I'm still trying to figure out why they did this, but then again, I, I understood, like. This was the industry. This is how it was. And like some of these black kids that like that were in these shows are mentally fucked up from some of the shit that happened because, you know, you're told to like there was one one part where they had a kid dressed up in like a, a, a suit, like a whole like tight skin suit. And it wasn't his skin or it was his skin color. But they tried to make it go. Oh, it needs to be charcoal. What the fuck? <laughs> what? 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 And then, like, the mom came to the defense, and what happened was he got fucking fired the next, like, go the next year because his mom was coming to the defense of him. Well, at the end of the day, she was fucking right. But I guess at the end of the day, it hurt his career because they felt that, oh, strong black woman coming in trying to offset things is a problem. Yeah. And that's and it's, that's that's messed up, man. That's... That's sad. It's a sad thing. And like some of those kids is like messed up mentally, like behind that stuff, man. So like I, and 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 I, I Sean, I, every day, you know what you know what it really boils down to is every day I I would just I want to I'm getting closer and closer to that reset button, bro. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I've been talking about like, that reset button for a good 10 years, man. You <laughs> so, know, all the all that really needs to happen. Came up in our first show. We came up all the, the first all show. that really needs to happen is the internet just needs to die. If that happens, society will crumble and we'll all have to start oh, talking man. to each other again. Remember, remember a few weeks ago when AT and T had that uh, had, had that crash. It was kind of weird. So happy. I was so happy. <laughs> kind of weird. It was like, oh, I don't have any service. All right. I, I, when it all goes to shit, I'm gonna be so happy. I'm like so happy. No, there be no Twitter, no, no Instagram, no Facebook, no nothing. I'm so happy, and just like people can actually talk to each other again. There's gonna be a lot of mad motherfuckers out there, but it's it's gonna be nice. <laughs> it's gonna be nice that that one that one day. Um, like we did, we're gonna do a separate X Men '97 review where we're gonna we talk are two episodes about the the thing. But yes. Everything like, you're talking about, Mike, Cops. was Woo! awesome. <laughs> was, I, I didn't even know the motherfucker could even do that shit. That's, that's the crazy part. <laughs> that's what yeah. I'm saying. Like, this 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 X-Men 97 show might show us some better, you know, some of the uses of powers that I that I haven't seen before. Maybe they have shown that shit in the books. I don't know. They probably have. But uh, I haven't I, seen that. I haven't seen Cyclops do that before. So, I know. And I haven't seen Gambit do that shit. He does Wolverine from the trailers, neither. So. That shit was tight. <laughs> a morph too. Morph. I mean, morph did it a little bit in the first no, season. Morph the was first putting season. in work. But, but, but. I don't even want to spoil it. Like we got. I know about it's tough. Yeah. It's tough. I watched. I watched episode one and two three times. Yo, like, I'm a, I'm I two times it. in, man. Because I, I was trying. I, I had to. I didn't take a. I was like, yo. Wait, I was like, wait a minute. Did I just watch the shit that I just watched? I, I gotta go back and watch this shit again. Like, yo. Yo. It, it makes me more and more, you know, but we what we can talk about, I don't even know if we should even talk about that, of where the movies is going to go with this shit. If you got this as like a beginning premise, oh man, the world's well, like a fucking oyster. And, I, and I think, I think this is, this is the, the test, right? Like how much of this can we do? And we'll see, we'll see what Deadpool and Wolverine can pull off. Did you get from, that trailer on the, the big action. screen? Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. I, I, didn't, I didn't get any good trailers. That's nice. My, you know, I'm. A, they showed the Civil War trailer. That scared my son. He was like, "Whoa!" <laughs> like I know that's. I'm like, don't worry. California and Texas would never team up. <laughs> <laughs> true, true. The two most polar opposites. Yeah, it's the like the, the the Union of California and Texas. I'm like, oh, you're not from around here, are you? <laughs> you don't know. Steve, how. Steve but I, you must I, be I a do British what? director. See, but I do want to see Civil War. But I'm I not. Fucking, I want to see it too. I'm not going to the theaters to go see that shit. <laughs> no, because you're gonna walk out of it. What kind of American are you? You're like, oh, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, I, I yeah that's the other know. thing. That's what scares me about that movie is like, they're, just the fact that it's like that movie is coming out in an election year and like putting that that idea and those images and those those thoughts in like the zeitgeist right before a presidential election. I, I don't it's, want it. Exactly. It's a little I don't, I don't, concerning. I don't, I don't, I don't want it. It's a little it. like, mm, can we, can we just, can we just, can we just be calm for a while? Can we just, can we all just enjoy X Men '97 for a while? That's all. Um, just enjoy. It'd be, it'd be a beautiful world, man. But if you just see just what happened in Russia, you like, yeah. <laughs> no shit. Yeah. So yeah, we talk about Quiet on Set. Uh, if you if you grew up, especially in that era, or have kids that grew up watching that era of stuff, like definitely watch it. Like it's it, it's heartbreaking. There's a lot of stuff in there that's really difficult to watch. Um. Yeah. Are you guys watching Invincible? Did it start? We came back on again. Yeah, uh, I did not. I didn't know it came back out. I watched the first part of season two, but not. I haven't seen whenever the next thing is yet. Yeah. What's up, Brian? Okay. Hold uh, on, Brian. Oh, the other thing is another show that dropped this week that a little you're never gonna watch, but me and Sean will finish it. It's the Three Body Problem on Netflix. Yes, and. So far, fantastic. Very good. Very, very good. Uh, it's an alien. Sh- <laughs> oh, now we do that fireworks thing again. Yeah. Uh, so, um, what, what is what is three body problem? There's some some talk of it's a it's a show that that goes throughout. It jumps through different periods of time. There's one like back in like World War Two ish time in China, and then one that's like now. Mm-hmm. And uh, there's an alien transmission that is that was caught in the World War II times, and and now there's like these people that can see this weird timer in their in their vision, like floaters, but like it's a timer counting down. That was kind of crazy. Like that's fucking scary. Remember? And then she started her work back up, and that shit fucking the timer came back up, and she's like, oh shit, and she turned it off, and the timer went away. Yeah. Like that's that's pretty nuts. Uh, and and then there's this weird like game that. We haven't. I'm only three episodes in. There's eight episodes of the, of the first season at least, and there's this game. It's like a headset that people are, have been given, and there's like these different levels. It's like this very intricate VR yeah. thing that I don't know. It's even VR. It look it's like you just take your soul and put you into the game. Put you into a whole other universe where they're trying to solve all these problems. There's other players. You when they interact with other players, and like shut the fuck up. You're like oh god. Yeah, like, uh, smack the shit out of me. Smack the shit out of me. He was smack the shit out of me. Punch, punch him a couple of times. And like you, you get killed in this game like a lot. Like remember when uh was when Sam went into the game, Sam yeah. from Game of Thrones, and yeah. that lady was like, "You're not invited." Yeah, cut his fucking head off, and he head took off. the headset off. He's like, "I'm not gonna play that anymore." <laughs> he said, "I taste." He said, "I even taste the blood that time." <laughs> <laughs> but like. So like, and they're get the the people that we're following in the show are getting higher in the levels of the game, and we're we're learning more and more about it. But just so far, like the ideas are really big, the acting's solid. Um, no sexy. There ha- there was nakedness, but it wasn't se- anything sexy about it. That was, remember when they rehydrated those people? That was crazy. I didn't get that far yet. <laughs> oh, oh, you're not three episodes in then. <laughs> yeah, I think I'm making so, three episodes in. <laughs> so there's a there's a there's a big naked scene coming up in one of these oh, episodes. Yeah. Um, but very very good so far. I would give it a, a hard to rate it right now. I mean, I think it's a hero. I think it's gonna be here. I really like it so far. I enjoyed it. I thought it was amazing. Three body problem. Yeah, uh, Mike. Uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna do another episode for that, so we don't get booted off of YouTube because we're gonna show some trailers and talk about them. So that will be also out as well. So. I know. I wish we could talk about it like here live with you and everybody else, but we keep getting every, every get, time we, we, get do, we get banned. we get booed. Yeah, we get booted. It's crappy. But um, anything else? Anything else you guys watch? I ain't watch shit, dude. I watched a horror movie called The Seeding. That was, you know, it was about evil kids. So I was like, gotta watch that. It's like this dude like walking around, like hiking in the desert, and like gets trapped with this lady in this house, like in this big fucking hole in the middle of this canyon where he can't get out. And there's like these evil kids that are tormenting them, and it turns into a very weird religious 
ish culty. <laughs> it's a weird movie, man. But it was pretty good. The seating. You can find that by other means. I would probably put it on our thing for 30, 31 days. It's it's good for that. Yeah, cool. Cool. Brian might have probably heard about that one. James wants to know if anybody's watched Ark. It's based on the video game. No. Is that animated? There's no way there because the Ark shows or the Ark video game is like dinosaurs and survival and shit. There's no way that's live action, right? I haven't watched it. So I guess anybody got anything to share for the toy box? One thing, very small. Check this shit out. <laughs> it's like uh, it's like it's you know the art? No, 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 no. Like this. Hold on. It's it's like uh it's like wax you put in the little scent thing. Oh yeah, yeah. It's scented wax and it's uh it smells like a movie theater. It's or video a, a store. Movie, that's right, video store. Yeah, it says the uh, uh see I'm getting old now, I gotta turn on my light to see the fucking all right. It says the scent profile is popcorn carpet VHS. <laughs> The top notes are butter, carpet fibers, dust, and sugar, popcorn. Like it, it's weird. It smells like it smells like when you walk out of here, it smells like fucking like a video star. It's pretty cool. That's awesome. You know, they had a pop up blockbuster here and I totally missed it. It's found out after the fact. I was like, damn it, I would have gone. You would have had to have gone and bought <laughs> something, a shirt or a hat or yeah. They had to have had merch there. Oh, man. I'm, I'm sure they did, yeah. So maybe look out for one near you, pop up Blockbuster, because they're, they're happening. So yeah, the face huggers in the alien movie trailer. It looks like Fede Alvarez was like, I'm really gonna go hard with the face huggers. Like, we're gonna show that shit going in their fucking throat. Oof. Um, I went to the movies today, but I did get this uh awesome popcorn bucket. <laughs> oh, nice. Mine did not have those. Mine, yeah. no. I, we got a poster. Look at that. Yeah, this is going <laughs> That's to Steve. Cool, going to Steve though, because I want a prop replica one. Um, but you know, oh, it was cool. so cool. Yeah. And it oh, like it, it, it just had the popcorn in the top. Yep. That's yeah, fucking. I, sweet. I didn't put any popcorn in it. I just bought it just to buy it. Yeah, I thought it was cool, <laughs> just to have it. And this was like the last one they had, so I was like, "Oh, you know what? I'll take it." <laughs> That's really, really cool. Yep. Yeah. So, Where, where's your Dune popcorn bucket? I was not getting one of those. <laughs> you don't even want that on your shelf, huh? No, just, no. Just, just, ex, just extra butter in that popcorn bucket. You saw a little sent you the picture of that Moff Gideon helmet. You gonna think about add that to your? Uh... No, it's trash. Um, I did. Damn, I said yeah, trash. It's trash. looks like, pretty good. Yeah, I don't. I'm not a. Uh, yeah, I, I'm, I, I'm not. A, I'm not a helmet guy. Yet. You got like 50 helmets. No, I only got like five. I only got what eight helmets. Um, but I wanted to get this one man. It's by um this company. They're called RS Prop Masters, and they did a um uh an ATAT driver helmet that has all the exact greeblies. They they put the work into this thing man and like it's it's like 10 years they put it's like 10 years in the making like they put that much research in it to get it done it's only like 600 but it's it the the release times are weird and they're only doing like a hundred uh of each helmet like i just and I'm, i'm not that i'm not that focused on helmets so i'm like do I really need it? I don't need it. Like, I'm okay with not having it. Like, so I'm just like, damn, like I wanted it, but I'm like, mm, I, I can hold off. Uh, I'm waiting till I come back from Disney. And then like, I'm, there's some stuff that I want to get, but overall, I think I'm fine. Like, I don't, I don't, I'm not, I'm not deep in the helmets. And if I needed a helmet like that, I'd probably get a cheaper one just because. And I'm not really pressed on helmets like that right now. I don't have any space for them like that. And that's the thing that I think I'm just not really running out of space, but I want to put all the ships. I want to get all the ships first before I have like more helmets. I don't want to have like a whole helmet area. It's, I don't. I don't really care that much. Even though, even though that that fucking um, Emperor's Guard helmet, I really do kind of <laughs> red one, man. <laughs> really, really oh, it looks so good. It's it so, so different than the other ones, man. It's. 
It uh, is, man. I, like, I, do, I have loved that helmet back. So back when I was a kid, you know, when you could order the books off of those little paper things you would get at school, you order the books. Yeah. Like so, anyway, so I got one and it was a Return of the Jedi book. It was just mm. a picture book that, you know, had like the basic outline of the movie, but just mostly pictures. But on the back of it was just the whole back of it was just that Imperial Guard. Just that whole red fucking, and I would just stare at the back of that book like that. That shit is tough. I've always loved that armor because it's just different. It's so different than the other ones. That's why I hated it when they showed up in the, what was it, episode eight? When they had like the red kind of first order guys mm -hmm. hanging out near Snoke. I was like, get out of here with that trash. Like, I want the yeah, those are Imperial cool. Guard back. Like, those, like ah. I never felt like those guys got their due. Like they just look tough. Like they look like they could kick your ass like really mm -hmm. quickly. <laughs> but so here's, they just here's kinda the, stand there. Here's <clears> the <throat> it's a good helmet though. It looks fucking perfect. It looks really, really good. But I just $600, don't dollars, man. I know, man. It's signed by the actually original ATA driver. It's good. That's, it's, that's really nice. It's a it's a really nice helmet, dog. Like, that's really, really nice. Yeah, they put the work into that shit. Like they did not hold no punches, man. And these guys are really good at their shit. But I just couldn't. I I I'd love to get one, but I just don't need it that badly. To I, there's other things I'd rather have for that amount of money. But beautiful piece, man. Beautiful piece. And these guys are like the top. They're like top top of the shit. Like if you're gonna get a helmet, you get a helmet from RS Prop Masters. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I, I would love to get a 3D printer, man. I just don't have the time for a 3D printer. That's the thing. I'm actually, I'm actually shocked you haven't pulled the trigger on that because I know you've talked about it for a while because like, you wanted to make your own toys and stuff like that. Yeah, I don't especially have the time. now with how you like weather the different your things. Own, like you're, you're, you know, you, 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 you buy stuff, you weather it, you paint it, you clean it up, and it's like that's kind of the next step, right? Like. You're gonna make your own item piece by piece. If I had the garage space for it, I would. I don't have a garage space for it. I can't put that down, you know, here in the room because the fumes would kill me. <laughs> you know, it's not true. Not with a basic filament printer like the one I have. The Ender yeah, but, yeah, but see, when <laughs> you ever see me go basic, you know, you know me. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go high resolution. He's not He's in, not a basic bitch. Yeah, I'm not. He's a gonna, you're gonna have to build a whole fucking room under your house for that shit. That's why he hasn't done it yet. He's gonna go buy one of those little sheds from Home Depot. Have yeah, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go hard in the paint, you know, like real shit. I'm gonna go hard in the paint, and I can't. I just can't. I can't do that. Paul is not hard in the paint, but you know, I just can't. Paul. I can't do that. So it's like for me, I, I want to go big with it. Like I need my shit to be like I don't need no lines. I don't like. I was talking to Joe Vitale about that. And, and like he told me, he was like, you know, the best one is is this one, but you know, just start out, do this one. But I'm like, I'm too bougie for that. I'm too bougie for that shit. Like, I need my shit to be perfect the first time, or I'm gonna be upset. I I hate I hate the lines. Like, I really really do. Like, it's like it's when you look at it, you're like, man, I got lines in it. Like, I'm not. Can't not you perfect. sand them out? Yeah, you could, but I don't. I, I want my shit to be perfect when I first when I ain't gotta do all that work. So I know I know myself. I know that I'm gonna want to spend that amount of money for some shit like that, and I got to get the right. I have to have be the right area, the right space. That's why I have not pulled the trigger on it yet. That's the only reason why. I would love to do it, but I just don't have the time to put into setting up a whole area to have to make sure the shit's filtered out right and to have all that. I just can't. I don't have the time to do that. Yeah. You know. So I just kind of I was like, you know what? Eh, fuck it. It is what it is. I had I would love, I, would love I just had, don't have it set up right now. <laughs> just yeah. haven't. I haven't I was supposed to put it in here, but where? Right. There's already no room in here. And you you've you only how many times have you used it? You used it only a couple of times, right? And but I, I, yeah, but I, I see, I, I, there was a problem with it. I couldn't figure it out. And then I, my buddy told me exactly what the problem was, was where I had the filament that goes on there to gets loaded in. I had it on backwards. So it was, it was loaded in weird. And that's why I was getting the weird stretchy fucking bullshit that I was having. And once I figured that out, I was like, oh, cool. But then I just never, 
at that point, I was already so frustrated with it. I just never plugged it back in. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I was like, fuck this thing. Yeah, my, I mean, <laughs> I, I wanted to start, I wanted to get it one little small one to see what I could do with it, but I just, I'm fucking picky, man. Like I sent, I sent Joe all these files. Joe was like, "Man, this is too much shit." <laughs> like, like I wanted to go hard. Like I wanted him to print me out a giant Y wing, <laughs> like, but I gave him like all these files, and it was like it was too many files. I was like, "Man, see, that's why. This is just why I don't fucking do it." It was too much. But that's man. what happens, right? I remember when my buddy told me he was like, he's like, "Yeah, I, I can make you an emulator. Just tell me what games you want on it." And I was like, "Oh, for sure." And he's like, "Yeah." And so like I went. <laughs> I pulled out like a Wikipedia of like all Nintendo shit and like Super Nintendo. I had a fucking list. Like, right, right. He's like, he's like, what the fuck? I meant like, <laughs> like fucking ten games. Like, what the fuck is this? <laughs> you see, you see, that's what I'm saying. Like, we go, we go so far. Like, what the fuck? I didn't know. <laughs> you know, what the fuck. I thought when you I said, thought, I thought you give me everything. <laughs> Yeah, we go so far. It's yeah. just like yeah, I felt bad, and now like after talking to Joe, I haven't talked to Joe since. <laughs> like, <laughs> because I think I went too far, and, and now I feel so bad. I'm just like, oh man, oh man, that's crazy. Uh, that's funny. That's how I be though. <laughs> when you want, when you want something, man, you just gotta go too far. And we, so, we're so picky. Yeah, be careful. You open that window, it's like we can jump right through that. Yeah, shit. yeah you, you fuck with motherfuckers who don't have no pushback. You just like, yo. <laughs> You're like, oh, you gonna L you you want you yeah. sure? All right. Yeah, oh, yeah like I told you I collected movies. What did you think? I fucking <laughs> yeah. We, I had like a little box or something. Do. <laughs> King Kong ain't got shit on us. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what else, man? Anything else? I was gonna say, there's no, I don't, I don't see any news out there. Is there any you news? Know, I know there's the trailers that we're gonna talk about during our trailer palooza, but news wise, there's not a lot. Frozen Empire oh. is opening below expectations. Yikes, my theater yeah. wasn't actually that busy, so. I mean, I think they wanted to make like forty-eight. Or I think it's on um, on track for like forty-one, mm. which is weird, right? Like these movies used to be hundred million dollar opening weekends, and now like, even Dune, Dune, like yeah, Dune hit five hundred million worldwide, but it's like that should have been a billion dollar movie, easy. Let's go. You know what I keep forgetting to do while we're talking here is going through the community chat and seeing what people have posted in there because they always be posting stuff in there. Star Wars Acolyte breaks Lucas record but gains a lot of dislikes on YouTube. <laughs> well, we all know why that is. I can talk well, about that one. You know what, Steve and I didn't talk about that trailer. Well, we're going to talk about that one. Okay. You're yeah, we didn't talk about I know you You and Ed had your breakdown but we haven't, we haven't shared our thoughts. And giggle what do you? About. What do you? What do you? Yeah. <laughs> giggle like little schoolgirls with anything Star Wars. Listen, you ain't got to come at it like that. Why, why? Why? There's not really a lot of news, man. Not a lot. Of I news. know. I'm looking. I'm looking through, and it's just trailers. A few trailers to drop. Beetlejuice two trailer. Uh, Acolyte trailer. Oh. It's nothing. Spider Man within, or the Spider Within. Spider Verse short film will make his debut. On March 27th. Sony and Kevin Love and the Kevin Love Fund. I don't know what that's about, though. Did you read about that? Uh, so with Miles, I have no idea what it is. March 27th. So we'll you see. see this poster that uh, Fernando posted in the in the community chat, Sean, called Star Wars The Survivors, and it's like one, two, three, it's like five Mandalorians standing there looking all badass. I did see that. Mm -hmm. Man, that looks fucking tough. Yeah. Um, there's no news, dude. There's no news. James, I thought we talked about the crow trailer last week. We oh. did. Oh. We didn't. They we they chose. They are refusing to put it on trailer palooza, just like the Flash. I don't know what it is. Whenever I say like, oh, I like that trailer, we should watch it. They fucking boycotted these two every time. Did we boycott it? Well, we just didn't want to do it because it was <laughs> trash. <laughs> I have we gotta no watch the trash trailers too. Desire to see <laughs> yeah. this crow movie. 
People and, like watching you get angry and, and be like, "This sucks." People like watching that crap too. Yeah, there's nothing really but but trailers to talk about. There's nothing really. <sighs> yeah, uh, Mike, we do uh, do the Star Wars uh, show live. Uh, I believe Wednesdays. Wednesdays at nine o'clock Pacific. Nine yes. o'clock Eastern. Wait, wait, wait! Star Wars show is every Wednesday, <laughs> and it's called Star Geeks. <laughs> he said Wednesday. Yes, at nine p.m. Eastern Standard Time. What's up, Spice What's Runners up? Lounge? That's what we said. What's up, Evan? Um, shit, I don't know what else. What 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 else is there to talk about, guys? Like, I mean, it's it's gonna be a short week because we got a lot of different things that we're gonna be putting out, so it, it's tough. Yeah, oh, we, you know uh, what we, we said, didn't what we didn't talk about, which we'll talk about now, uh, because we didn't talk about it after we recorded the first episode, is the new show we're doing, time travel video. We put out episode one of that. Uh, that's going to be our movie review show that we're doing with Lino. He's he's going to be a big part of that show over there, and um, we have a time travel machine, <laughs> time traveling device on that show named Richard Gear. <laughs> <laughs> and he decides uh, what year we go to, and then we pick a movie from that year. It's it's a fun little thing. Uh, and we're actually episode one was RoboCop twenty fourteen, and episode two is going to be Tank Girl from nineteen ninety five. And then I don't know, we don't know. Richard Gear is going to decide what year we go to after that. So. Now, when Richard Gear makes a decision, do <laughs> who makes the decision on what movie we watch? <laughs> is that we a, we we, we, co- we collectively? Yeah, <laughs> we, we collectively we, well, figure it's, that. It's out. because it's it's the year and the month, right? So, like, we're in March right now. So, if he picks a movie from March of nineteen eighty eight, if he, if he picks nineteen eighty eight, then we got to go March March eighty eight, and then we yeah. decide which movie in March of eighty eight. And, and it'd be it'd, it, some months might be really tough, right? Some months, like we picked, we ended up with Tank Girl. So because uh, there wasn't a lot else <laughs> to choose from in March of 1995, a lot of good movies in '95. Not so many yeah. in March. <laughs> yeah. yeah, we did go to Tank Girl. I did. I... Interesting, <laughs> interesting. I got a lot to say about Tank Girl. A lot to say. A lot Sam. to say. Sam, Sam, Sam. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, shit. What else, man? But well, that's we'll, a fun we'll show. definitely join you, Mike, on Star Geeks for sure. But so. yeah, time travel it. video is not live. That's a correct time travel right. video. Uh, the, the hope is to post those on Tuesdays. So yeah. you'll see time travel video on Tuesdays. Is there anything else for you guys to talk about before we end the show tonight? This was a very short show <laughs> 48 minutes. I know last week we went like an hour and a half. Yeah, it's nothing. You know, it's. it's I've been, I got a couple, just not even, not even excited about purchases that I made coming in this week. Oh. Um, but I still can't find anything to buy. I'm almost to the point I'm going to go buy action figures again because I want something to buy. Why? I, I want to go buy the X Men '97 action you're, figures. You're, you're and I'm missing the hunt. Buy. You want the hunt. I am because it's like I look at stuff. I'm on eBay and I'm like, this is. Uh, uh, it's different. You're not going to the uh, shops. You're not looking around. You're not. I haven't been to a comic shop since December. Wow. I was in one. Yes, I was in one, yes, that, what, I was in one on have, Thursday. Do they have a lot in Florida? Like I, I've heard. This is, a, this is a few. Yeah, I, I told you I wanted to take you to that big one. Oh, Acme Archives, right? Ac- Acme, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I will be uh, in Florida next week. I cannot wait. <laughs> <laughs> Steve will be sad. Sean and I will I am be not recording time. with you guys next week. No fucking way. Oh, uh, we're not recording next week, I don't think, are we? I'm not. Think we were. You, well, I'm gonna be here and you two on one fucking camera cuddling the whole time. Fuck out of here. You know what? We should. We should. <laughs> I, why not? Why not, we Steve? Should, Just so we should salty. Do it. So we should salty. Do it. it's not like he's coming here just to see me. He's coming here with his family. Yeah, so me, 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 family just an excuse. Me, family me just an excuse. We're gonna do, we're gonna do a we're gonna do a ham and cheese uh, episode. <laughs> well, that sounds disgusting. Well, I'm ham and you're cheese. <laughs> I don't know. Right. You're like together, like a. 
Oh, I don't know. It intertwined? Like, is it a melted ham and cheese? Like a, like a ham and cheese hot pocket, or like a ham and cheese sandwich? What a ham and cheese what? Like a wrapper? What are we talking about? I don't know. Yeah. Brian Stitcher said, uh, "You guys talk about uh, Nev Campbell coming back to school. Of course, because they they fired like the entire like new Young cast, cast. Is gone. <laughs> and they're like, well, we need to make so, Screen Seven, so let's bring back. So here, here, I'm, I'm of want. two minds of that because because so yeah, Nev Campbell coming back is, is great. Because it's Nev Campbell coming back to scream, but like you're just gonna kill this whole storyline that you had for the last two movies. But at the same time, I wasn't really a big fan of Ghost Skeet Ulrich, you know, and like <laughs> you know, that was that was a little far. You know, like <laughs> like I'm I, like if we want to get away from that, I'm all right, you know, and like. I have complaints about five and six too. Like they're good. Don't get me wrong. Like they're cool. Like in comparison to a lot of like horror movies, they're in the upper tier, both of them. But I do have some complaints about them, you know, especially like six, like when the killers, like we're like, we're the killers. And now we're all crazy jokers. <laughs> like what the fuck? Dude? <laughs> like, I don't know why you guys all shows laughing. You the insanity of, like, of being a murderer. But, um, I don't know. I, I on one hand, I'm like, damn, we're not going to get to finish the Sarah or the Samantha Carpenter storyline. But on the other hand, I'm like, I don't know if I really give a shit about the Samantha Carpenter storyline. But you know what? So. To me, it's like it it ended. It could have ended. She like you know left the mask and left the. That's knife true. And That's true. That could have ended. Very like, well that could be the end, right? Like she's she she's not fully embracing her. And Gail or- Weathers is still alive. Well, exactly, and that's the story to tell, right? Like, you got Nev Campbell. Maybe Seven finally kills Nev Campbell. Maybe. No way. Uh, I don't Aaron know. Taylor Johnson's rumored to have been offered the role for James Bond. Yeah, but he said it wasn't true, so I have no idea what to believe. Do we want Aaron Taylor Johnson to be I can James see it. Bond? He'd be fine. Has he carried a movie by himself yet that has been any good? Craven, guaranteed he's going to be a hero. <laughs> time travel video. I'm the host of time travel video. All right. Wait, what? Did you say it's gonna be a hero? Are you are you gonna are you, will you guarantee your career on that hero? <laughs> which career? Yeah, which one? <laughs> like this um, podcasting career? Sure. <laughs> yeah, who cares? Sure. <laughs> I mean, I'm not saying anything bad about Aaron Taylor Johnson. It's just like James Bond has to like own the screen and own everything right like when you have a a, a bond that can't do that yeah. taylor john taylor taylor he don't he don't carry the screen for me. i'm just I looking at that, all the movies that he was like he the star has he the had a, but he has he had a role in this, has he been in the movie necessarily where he's had to do that like kick-ass okay. he didn't have to do that and uh like like bullet train i thought he was fucking awesome in but he didn't yeah, but have he, to. He wasn't the star of Bullet Train. No, that's what I'm saying. Like, what movie has he been the star of? I get it, but that's the thing. Like, he hasn't shown to carry a movie, so I don't know if he can carry that franchise. That's a I big think... weighted franchise. It is. I don't know. I mean, I mean fucking that's a beloved most, franchise. Most movies for coming out now are just kind of like meh, anyway. It's like the last James Bond movie was whatever, anyways. So, it's true. It's true. I guess the I last guess two right. James Bond movies, three, I think, because it was Skyfall was the last good one. So let me ask you guys a question: Can okay. can a black actor carry the James Bond? One hundred percent, yes. Yeah, if Idris Elba was good. if Idris Elba was younger, that's the only problem. He's like in yeah, his late fifties; like he's yeah. he's he's aged out of it. But Washington from um has he creator? Aged out of it? I mean. Some of these I mean, Daniel were, Craig wasn't young. <laughs> Sean Connery came back and was Bond no, at no. old age. Idris Elba himself has said he feels like he's too old to play okay. James Bond. He said it. But yeah, I but think I'm sure if they, he's, I'm per- sure if they he's perfect the for it. I think he's perfect for it. Could you imagine it. James Bond? Bond. <laughs> James Bond. And in Idris Elba's voice, whew. Smooth. It'd be good stuff. But um so, so this is this is for you, Steve. Is there so no show next week then? Since you don't want to record with with Sean and us, cut. Oh, I was just fucking out? around. Of course, I would record if you guys wanted right. to, but I don't know. Wait, are we done with the James Bond talk? Because I want no, to. No, no, I just, I just wanted to go. So we can keep going with James Bond. So go ahead. 
So what actor should play James Bond? Because I think that's that's one of the questions that Brian asked. Who would we pick for James Bond? I I, I don't know. You know, I know like a lot of people were talking about like Cavill, right? And I'm like, no, I don't I don't see Cavill because every time he's had a movie outside of anything, it really hasn't done well. I mean, if you want to take um, the franchise in a completely different direction, swing for the fences. Cast like Charlie Day. <laughs> but, but they already, you know what? They, they already, oh my god! <laughs> they already did that. There was that a James Bond movie. With, there was a James Bond movie. It's out of uh, out of context. I think it was. I think it was called Casino Royale. I can just imagine. Oh my god! That was with Woody Allen. Oh, okay, man. we can go back to reality. I just thought I'd throw that little monkey wrench out there. No, but I'm saying they've they've already attempted that comedic James Bond with Woody Allen. Well, that's not good. And they it did it already fine with Austin Powers. It's fine. Wasn't and that wasn't good either. That was the Woody Allen one. Um, I don't know who I I would want to be James Bond. I just know it. I would like Henry to. Henry Cavill is just too. Too they're just giant. so they're so big. Like it's too like giant. They have James Bond also has to like blend in. Like most James Bond openings, like he's walking through like a giant fucking parade or some shit, you know? Like he's gotta blend in with the crowd. Like you can't be Henry Cavill. And it's like where'd the giant go? Oh, there he is. So I'm thinking maybe like this dude could carry it. Like, to be honest, he's a good looking dude. He looks very suave. Um, this guy right here. Oh yeah, he was. Uh, oh, he was in um, the Dungeons and Dragons. Dragons. He was great in Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> he was <laughs> like, when, he, when he walked over that rock. Yeah, <laughs> it was, it's like, is he gonna keep walking? He's gonna walk right over that rock. He's gonna is walk he, right over. Yep, there he goes. Right over. Is he? Uh, uh, is any of that Edgerton? Bridgerton. No, Bridgerton. 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 Yeah. Bridgerton. Yeah. Yeah. I, I think. I think he can. I think he can definitely do it. Like. I think you can pull it off. I think it wouldn't be bad to see. I'm curious. I'm cu- I would like to see an African American fucking James Bond. Like I'm gonna be honest with you, for at least like three or four movies. Like they could do it. I don't think that that role is tied to a, a race specifically. It's title. Yeah, I don't think John, I don't think John Boyega can can carry that. I, I don't think John Boyega don't got the. He doesn't. He doesn't have that. Like he's good at what he is, but he's not. And not James Bond type, not to me. I don't think he's got that suave that James Bond would have. Agreed. Wow. Agreed. What about what about thinking just again differently? What about like Richard Madden? I I had that. They I don't I don't know. You guys know him better from from Game of Thrones. Is that Rob? 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 Stone? Yeah, maybe maybe back then, but not now. Yeah, I can't. After you know what? After Eternals, after Eternals he's dead to me. <laughs> God damn! <laughs> it's like he's after dead. Eternals, I go back and I watch that episode where he got it in fucking Game of Thrones, and I laugh. And I laugh. I watch the Red Wedding over and over, and I laugh. <laughs> damn, it's fucked up. <laughs> that was dark. What about yeah. what about Frodo Baggins? Uh, let's see. Elijah well, Wood is James Bond. <laughs> what the fuck? No. Now that would be awesome. Um Mike, Charlie I, Hunnam? Michael Fassbender? Charlie Hunnam might he could he might could Is Michael Fassbender old. too old? I don't think so. I mean, look how old Daniel Craig was when he took it out. He did a bunch of movies. I know that's what I'm Mike, saying. Tim I Craig don't, was I, old, I, I, Michael Fassbender doesn't have the right face for it. Yeah. I he looks like it. too much like a robot. I don't know. <sighs> Can't see him, Michael Fassbender. I can't either, dude. I guess it's a tough one, man. To to really pull off another James Bond, man. Like they nailed it with Daniel Craig. He looked just different enough, but like he had he could do both all of it. Rugged, you know. Who are they gonna like they can't cast like they gotta be careful, they could fuck it up. Don't put Jason Momoa in there. <laughs> No, no. Took Will. I I even hate the Damson Idris. He's yeah, he could be. He's he's been rumored to join Marvel too. 
Yeah, I think so too. He's got to get so he's got to get a bigger like. I mean, you know, Snowfall was amazing, but he's got to get something bigger than Snowfall. Yeah, I think I think he has to something's something has to kind of pull him in. I don't I don't know what it would be though. It'd be you know what I would I wouldn't mind I, you know you know what it is about you know what it is for me with if if you can pull in a black James Bond you can tell a different story from it and not just you know whatever it is you can tell it from more of an urban an urban setting but also uh, mi6 setting and you could there's a lot there's a lot in there you can tell it from and i think it's something big there's a good story there but you just have to figure it out um i think that'd be dope you know from wh where you came from from the upbringing like you gotta you gotta figure that out at some point if, if you're gonna pull in an african-american uh james bond if not then you know aaron taylor johnson probably is is your is your probably next best bet you know um, yeah, I, I mean, I don't, I don't have anything against her and Taylor Johnson. I just don't know. <clears throat> it's it's tough, but Steve Steve made a good point. I mean, I haven't even watched the last James Bond movie, and I liked Daniel Craig's James Bond. I did. Um, I watched the last one. I didn't like but, the way it ended, and that's that's I, I, that's why I didn't watch it because I, 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 that's what everyone says. It's just like it just didn't end well. So I'm like, you know what? I'm just gonna just. One day I'll turn it on, but yeah, <laughs> yeah. I don't know. Like we all think we all put put it on this high pedestal. You want to know why? Because Casino Royale and yeah, Skyfall, Skyfall were so good yeah. that, like, I remember themselves. seeing Casino Royale in the theater and just falling in love with the franchise all over again. Like, I went back yeah. and bought every DVD. DVD box sets and rewatched every Bond. I was just like, and there and there are some some of the old ones are so good too. Some of the old ones are not so good. So it's tough. Yeah. It's tough because like if you don't have that that strong suave actor, it loses some of that charisma that that character is supposed to have. Because if you watch if you watch one of the the earlier ones uh, on Her Majesty's Secret Service, uh, well, I'm a draw, I'm drawing a blank on the actor who played. He only played him Bond once. He did not do a good job. He did not have the the charisma, and that's why they had to bring back Connery. Um, but I, Aaron Taylor Johns, I mean, you, you're you're right. I'm, um, I think he can pull it off. It's just we'll see. Yeah. They're just gonna need. They're gonna need a good cast with it. That's it. You, gonna, you gotta go. Yeah, that support. that first that first that first movie. You gotta go hard in the paint. Pause. You gotta go like. There's nothing to pause about that. It's yeah, there was oh, something to pause about hard. hard in the paint. It's <laughs> hard. It's, um, it's fine. It's fine. Don't tell, don't, don't tell me what I gotta pause. I don't know when to pause. Get out of here. <laughs> um, it's fine. I, I, I feel like I feel like to me, it's just you. You have to have a great story with that first one. You can't pull no punches. It's got to go boom right in. You like, oh shit! Like Taylor, like like whatever, uh, whatever his name is. Like, damn, he's fucking like kicking ass and taking names. Like, you got to have like an action packed one, like where this motherfucker can fight and do everything. Would you fun. like? So, so he would you? Good, he had some good fit. Uh, hand to hand combat in Bullet Train, and I think maybe that's probably what if if that's I don't why mean, they're I don't, I don't remember Bullet Train to that to that level to you know I don't remember it so it didn't sit it didn't sit like in my oh I can remember him doing that no I don't so what what kind of so would you want this next James Bond would you want him to take like a different approach and do like an origin kind of thing or would you want him just to start off established ready to go what is a new james bond right and if they're using it as a title right and not necessarily his name then you're going to have to have a new james bond yeah a new yeah, there's, there's, got, there's got to be an, an origin with this character if you cast an african american actor then his brother is not going to be christoph waltz <laughs> you know what i'm saying true true yeah. Well, you know, leave Tom Holland out of this. He's Spider Man. Tom Holland, no, sir. He's too tiny. He's a little guy. No. He's a little Tom shorty. Holland. Tom Holland saved his little his little lane. Him and um the Dune kid. 
<laughs> Timothy, Timothy Chalamet. Chalamet. Oh, Let's stay where they at. <laughs> Could you imagine Timothy Chalamet is the new James Bond? I don't think they like each other. Tom Holland and Timothy Chalamet. I don't think they like each other. I seen an interview where he, they, they didn't seem to do too, too coy on each other. I don't know. Mm. You know, I guess when your uh, girlfriend spends six months in the desert alone with them, you're like, well, yeah. James Bond Jr. would have been dope back then. Remember the cartoon? <laughs> I remember that cartoon, yeah. yeah. <sighs> All right. Uh, Brian, Brian also asked if we talked about the new Karate Kid movie with Ralph Macchio and Jackie Chan. I think we briefly talked about it when we announced it. Yeah, we'll see. Yeah. Yeah. We'll see. I, mean, I, I like somebody Jackie else Chan, was asked in that. Super old. <laughs> All right. There was there was something new about that that came out. I don't remember what it was. Anyway, All right. yeah, we're All just right. kind of spinning the wheels here. Yeah, we got lots of other things to do, content to make. Right, people <laughs> for you guys. Well. So, all right. Well, that's it for tonight. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you for your support. This is Lil. This is Sean. And it's Steve. And until next time, everybody, stay safe, be nice to each other, and keep it geeky.